Hello, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all getting our manifestations as we should be. Today, I want to talk about something that I know we all do all the time without realizing it, and that is putting manifestation on a pedestal. What do I mean by that? You are glorifying manifestation by treating your manifestations as successes. But what determines whether something is a success or not? Failures. I see success stories all the time in the comments of every video. Literally, it starts off success story, blah, 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 blah. And it could be the most minuscule manifestation or it could be something huge. And don't get me wrong, you should be celebrating when you get something and it does help you build your confidence as a manifester when you successfully manifest things. So there's nothing wrong with this. But what I want to point out is if you're not writing a success story, you might be thinking of your current manifestation as failing. If it's not succeeding, it's failing. So really all you're doing is proving to yourself and looking out there for evidence that manifestation is real. And that is where you're effing up. You manifest with the faith that what you are wanting to happen will happen. That is how you get anywhere with manifestation is by having the faith. So if you're constantly out there looking for success stories and looking for successes within yourself and the failures of manifesting with yourself, oh, I got this desire, but I didn't get this desire. This one was a success. This one was a failure. You clearly don't believe that manifestation is really real because if it was real, you cannot fail and you would understand that. You are a limitless being limiting yourself. So what do you do about that? Well, you need to raise your self-concept. You need to realize that you are worthy and you are deserving of anything that you desire and you need to realize that you are a master manifester already. There's nothing that you need to learn because you've been doing this your entire life. You don't need to be watching all these videos telling you about new techniques and you're doing things wrong and this and this and this and that. You don't need to look through your past manif successful manifestations and determine, well, I did this this way and it came true, so I must do everything that way so it can come. Specify what you want. Pick one technique to reaffirm to yourself, to reassure yourself, remind yourself that you already have it. We're not doing techniques to get it. We're doing techniques to remind ourselves that we have it and we are it. Let me repeat that. We are not doing techniques to get anything. We are simply reminding ourselves that we are already in the state now where we have it and persist, 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 and follow your happiness. Every moment of the day, think what would make me the happiest to do right now? Don't sit there and put yourself in affirmation hell, affirmation prison. You need to be out there enjoying all of the creations and manifestations that you've already brought into your life. And that's telling your subconscious that you're thankful for everything you've already done and everything you've been manifesting you're enjoying life and that's letting yourself know i'm enjoying what i'm bringing into my life i'm bringing in these successes successes and i'm enjoying them so let's have more of that subconscious when you follow your happiness moment to moment it's literally like this i desire to get a coffee i'm gonna go get that coffee and i think i might actually want to go walk to get that coffee so I'm going to go walk to get that coffee. Boom, you did it. Simple as that with manifestation. You have a desire first, then you live it. You're out there living happily, experiencing your desires. So then next time that big manifestation pings in your brain that you want, bam, that's exactly what you get. You're not sitting around and waiting for these things to come into fruition. You are loving your life living your life, experiencing joy in every possible moment. Life is about experiencing the joy and the happiness. And this manifestation thing is us realizing that 
we are in control and we can use this to live complete joy and happiness. We don't have to wait to do that. We need to do that now. This entire manifestation thing, this knowledge you have of law of assumption and you being the operant power is such a blessing. Most people do not have that. Don't sit there and be more miserable than most people. Live your best life now because you already have your desires. That's what law of assumption is. We realize that even though we might not see it now, we have it. We have it in one reality or the other. We have it because once we decide we want it, once that, that is us deciding that we already have it. Then it will unfold and we experience it. We experience it. We're already experiencing everything we want in the 4D. We want to experience it in the 3D. That's it. It's so simple. It's so easy. And that's also why we need to stop focusing on the whens and the hows of how, when and how we're going to get our manifestation because we already have it. We are not going to limit ourselves in any way. We're not going to limit how we get it, how we experience it, how it unfolds. Why would we limit that in any way? We want it right now. We want to experience it right now. I want what I want. Who cares how it comes? I want it to come in the fastest, easiest way. So stop manifesting for the unfolding. Stop manifesting so specifically and just realize that you can have whatever you want. It's in the bag. <laughs> it's already in the bag. Literally, I want you to completely stop asking what, when, where, why, and how and start focusing on who. Who are you being? Are you being that person who is experiencing your desires? Who am I? I am. I am. I am consciousness. I am the person who always gets what I want. Not what is going on, where's my manifestation, when is my manifestation coming, how is it going to come, why is it taking so long? No, stop asking all those questions and answer the question, who are you? Who am I? I am the operant power. That's the only information I need to know when and where and how and why my specific manifestation is going to come. That I am the operant power. Where is my manifestation? Within me. Because I am manifestation. I am all of it. You create it all in this moment. You create the past memories in this moment. You're creating your future memories in this moment. It is all right now. It is all here and now. Whatever it is, is all that it is right now. It's one reality. I am. It's not even really all unfolding. It's just everything that you choose now in this moment. Our memories of the past and our memories of the future are all happening now. They exist, but it's not one solid thing that you're experiencing like you're experiencing this now solidly. You are at the center of reality. Like I said in the last video with the bubbles and in the center is I am. You are in the center of reality and every single option is existing all around you for you to pick and choose from. Past and future and present. And we can, experience, we can experience any of it if we desire it or not. But the most important thing for you to do is if you're experiencing something that you're not wanting, it's not that you're failing. You just need to look at that situation in the eye and say, okay, I see that you are one of the possibilities, but this is not what I want to experience. I want to experience that one. Shoop. Now you do. So nothing is a success. Nothing is a failure because it can't be. It's just an option. It's how you align with it, that option. It is all complete. It is all fulfillment. It is all who you are, who you are being now. So who are you being? I am being abundance. I am being limitless. I am being absolute insane fulfillment and abundance and joy. So that's what I'm going to experience because that's who I choose to be every single day, no matter what I see. So like I said at the beginning, we're going to take manifestation off the pedestal 
and realize that the only thing that needs to be up there on that pedestal is I am. So take a deep breath. Hold it and let it out. And repeat after me. I am complete fulfillment and abundance. I am complete fulfillment and abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in a future video.